Something happened. Something happened. Well, ever since I've done anything, anything you haven't touched anything, have you? No. Nope. Ever since John left us, this has been running perfectly. It's absolutely ah! It's hot. It's hot. It's hot. It's hot. That part of the TARDIS is hot. See, I told you. Well, that's curious. That really shouldn't happen. There wasn't the last thing. This is the way you should ask it. Professor, are you speaking an alien language? Are you speaking another? Are you speaking Peruvian? Is Peruvian a language? Have we spoken about this before? Speak English, Professor. Speak English, Sim. Are you all right, Sim? Me? You're the one who was speaking a strange language. I wasn't speaking a strange language. You were mumbling some gibberish you picked up. What language were you speaking? English, as usual. So was I. As usual. Something's happening to us, Sim. Something to do with time. And something centered around the console. Everything I could hear from you was basically being thrown at me backwards. The time was still effectively running forwards. What? It was you who were talking strange language. Of course, of course. Our time streams were running in different directions to each other. That's why we couldn't understand each other. But now they're in the same direction. The TARDIS has made sure of that. It's a clever beastie, isn't it? But this is bad. This is very bad. Something outside of the TARDIS, perhaps. Maybe something from our future is bubbling backwards towards us. It's creating this effect. What are you talking about, Professor? Something causing the backwards anomaly. Something we're yet to encounter. Where were we going? Well, we were going to the planet Stoop. It's a shopping planet from the 29th century. Whole thing's run by the Camarodes who decided to make a tax-free world. So thousands of shopping centers just kind of popped up there. It's known as the shopping haven of the galaxy. Oh, I like shopping. Maybe I will get a new pair of shoes. Don't say I never think of you in planning our destinations. I just hope that everything else with the TARDIS is running correctly. Otherwise, you might not get the chance to max out your credit cards the way you like. Oh my gosh, Professor, what was this place? This was the Siamian Mall, the third largest mall on this planet and the largest collection of shoe stores ever assembled in one place. Oh, Professor, that makes it even more tragic. Mm. What happened? Some kind of explosion, obviously. A gas leak, maybe a bomb. I really don't know, Sam, I don't know. 
maybe it had something to do with that strange time distortion that we experienced back in the TARDIS, but who knows. That's Finnish now, right? I don't know, Sim, but I'm sure we're going to find out one way or another. Hey there, are you okay? Uh, oh no, poor uh, man. Uh, Must have been caught in the tail uh, end of the explosion. What's he saying? He's talking backwards too. The same issues that affected the TARDIS must be affecting here as well. Uh, Professor Sim, I was too late. Uh. Reverse explosion. This is what created the problem. What? I mean, tell me. But, uh, it seems that time is running backwards, Sim, for everyone except for us. But I could understand what that man said. Of course you can understand what that man said. It's the TARDIS translation circuits kicking in. It's taking all the backwards gibberish and putting it to some kind of method that we can understand it. Professor, let's go. I'm afraid we can't, Sim. The explosion happened about the same time as the TARDIS materialised, which... Long story short, if we don't prevent this explosion, time's going to keep running backwards until... Until... Until the Big Bang. Which is fine, that's like six billion years ago, or in the future here, so... We've got a bit of time to work with, it's not as dramatic as it sounds. I don't want to live my life backwards, Professor. But... Well, neither do I, but we're going forwards, as opposed to the rest of this planet. And hopefully just this planet. And because we're going in a different direction to everything else, then we can stop this explosion. How will... Simple. I... As soon as we stop the explosion, everything will return back to its normal progression from backwards to forwards, and we'll be able to get out of here. Okay, I guess. Hmm. What do we do now? Well, now we go to where the action is. I feel like going shopping. Shopping? Shopping? Professor, there's a guy! I'm sorry, Hi. Professor. You couldn't persuade him. We're going to have to run now before it goes off. I'm going in, it's our last chance. I couldn't persuade him. Well, what do you mean? Storage room eight. Have you seen him? Storage room eight? Sim, Professor, you're here. Where have you been? Well, that conversation seemed to run backwards. Did you see how clever I was? What did you do? Well, any statement he made, I made sure that I would give him something that he could respond with after he'd said it. We're going to have to take great care with our conversations. Otherwise, we could end up damaging some kind of time flow or at the very least look very silly. I have a headache, Professor. Who was that anyway? That was Clive. You know how I know? No. It was wearing a name tag. Also something to do with security. So, storage room eight. What? We've just come from there, storage room eight. So we have to go there now. Following me? Better follow along. Calibrating it to detect volatile substances. Oh, you mean a stuff like that? 
don't say any words, particularly beginning and ending with B. Professor, no one can understand me. Of course they can understand you. The TARDIS can translate what you're saying into other languages. This is how the TARDIS works. And be very careful not to get into a backwards conversation. We don't know what's going to happen if we somehow fail to keep our conversations in line. What kind of damage can be done to the time continuum? Professor, can I get some shoes while I'm here? No, of course not. How are you going to pay for them? Hey, we could steal stuff so easy. You could steal stuff so easy? Well, what is it? I take you across time and space and you want to shoplift? You want to talk about this lady, young lady? In the meantime, storage room 8. Quite close by. Come on. Save your worthless skin before I destroy this place and the miserable humans! What are you whispering about? Professor, he knows your name. Well, of course he knows my name. We've obviously just finished a conversation together. What was that again, old man? All oh, these questions! Just, just get out! Before I... Before I... <sighs> uh, are you sure there's no way that we can help you? You don't understand. I did the research. The Simeon Mall was built on the graves of the stupid people. Seven generations of my family buried under concrete and shops and food court. It makes you sick. Well, that's progress for you. They, they needed the shoppers, the government. They had to take the tax from all the shoppers just to keep stupid out because I'm... Bit of progress! There must be some other way to affect political change. Because they opened the planet up, you see. They opened it up to all the universe. But who do you think came? Aside from a few Darians, it was just the humans. In their millions. Infesting the planet stoop with their scum. Wait a minute, did you just say Darians? I can't stand the humans! The humans are just filth of this universe! I will destroy them! I will destroy them all on our sacred land, Professor! Just wait a minute, you, you must think this through. Surely there must be some better alternative. Professor? What are you doing here, you crazy man? And why do you always walk backwards? Sim, we'd better go now. But I don't understand. Oh, I don't understand either, but we're obviously at the beginning of the conversation. We have to leave. Uh, you are crazy! Yeah. Goodbye, little guy. Like that. Run away, run away. Oh, we do not run away. We are not running away. I just need time to clear my head and get the... I've never been very good with the non-linear patterns and definitely not in a place like that. A shopping centre and it's car park, not the best place to work on this. Huh? Now, all I need to do, all I need to do is stop the thing that created the time disturbance in the first place. You mean the explosion? That's the one. Obviously, nothing I said got through to his head before. Oh, this is frustrating. How will we know that you fixed it? We'll know that I fixed it once time starts traveling back in the same direction it should be. Now, he said something about his family's graves. The shopping center's built on his family's graves. Now, that's rather disturbing, but that's consumerism for you. Right you are, Professor. I'll start planning an evacuation. You know where to find me. Uh, okay. Why didn't you do anything? If that's where he is, why didn't you get back to storage room 8 and see if you can talk him round? You almost had him last time, Professor. Storage room 8, that's it. That's where we saw him. If only we had some idea of where he is now. I guess he could be pretty dangerous with that bomb and all. We have to take all these threats seriously, Professor. Do you think it 
could be serious. He's just called the security desk and apparently he's somewhere in the shopping centre threatening to blow things up. Oh really? What's that then? I've just received some disturbing news about that stupoid you were talking to before. I don't understand any of this, Professor. My brain hurt. How can we get rid of him? Watch this, Sim. I'm pretty sure this will work. Ah, there you are, Clive. It looks like you've been running for ages. Ah, there you are, Professor. Getting some fresh air, are we? See, Sim? There he goes. Professor, I don't see time running the right way. No, it's not. That is a serious dilemma, Sim, and no mistake. If he's in the storage room with the bomb, how can we stop him now? Good question. Since he's already gotten into the room in the past, I mean, future. Ah, it's so difficult to understand. Regardless, I don't see any point in us trying to be able to get into that room. He's in there regardless. What can I do? What can I do? What can I do? It's funny. With the time running backwards, we really haven't met him or Clive yet. What did you say? I said... Yeah, I know, I know what you said. But Sim, that is brilliant. It was? Yes. Yeah, I know I said that we're not allowed to steal anything, but what kind of little idea and with an inability to use money? I don't really see any alternative. Well, I suppose it's all right that you're living here, see because you spoke so politely to me. I don't know what's happened with the manners in the universe today, but they're not what they were in 2864, that's for sure. Excuse me, sir. Would you be so kind as to allow us to leave this behind? We don't have very much in the way of rubbish disposal. Uh, well, you know, I don't mind helping people out. That's what communities are all about, you know. But, you know, nobody even has the decency to ask. Excuse me. Could we ask a favour of you, sir? Robert, what you doing? What is this thing, huh? Huh? Uh, sorry, sir, but this is our box. We were hoping to leave it here. Enough of that! Enough of that! I've had it. What are you doing? What are you doing? You tell me what you're doing now! <laughs> Obviously, Sim, he's seen us place this here. We'd better take it with us. I think I'm going to have a plan. Well, thank you, Professor. It's great to know I've got someone on this quest to help keep the people safe. Don't mention it. If there's anything that we can do to help you find this fugitive, just ask. We are your loyal servants. Hey. Mm. Well, he's wearing a face mask. He's got gold skin. He's about 5'4", and he presents as being quite agitated. So, can you somehow describe this agitator? We're looking for a well-known terrorist sympathizer named Nastaris. He's made a series of threats against the Siamian Mall of a destructive nature. We suspect it's a bomb. He's quick. Mm. Professor Sim. Ah, our names, of course. I'm the professor and this lovely lady is Sim. I'd better get your names. Uh-huh. Well, you see, I was on the trail of a suspected terrorist. You haven't seen anyone around here, have you? Uh, what brings you here? This is a known lookout over the Siamian Malls for undesirables. I had advised not to hang around here for too long. Better to just walk on through. This is a very good lookout for the Siamian Mall and surrounds, don't you think? Sorry to bother you. My name is Clive Gurundite of Siamian Mall Security. Uh, hello there. What are you two doing here, loitering around? A bigger hello? <laughs> hey, you two! Fantastic. 
It was? It was. He asked if anyone ran past us, which means this Nastaris fellow, which means he probably has run past us. What? When? Well, due to the reversal of time, it hasn't happened yet, but it will. Huh? You know, Sim, often I forget just how awesome my intellect really is. You know, there's probably one person in the universe who could keep up with me. Who's that? Myself. Here he comes now. Uh. Sim, I'm going to distract. You need to swap the boxes. I need... J just... No time. That's disgusting! Get out of my way! Disgusting, disgusting, something disgusting. Ah! Watch as I suck up moisture from the earth. With my powerful magic word, Sim swap the cases. It's from another planet, you wouldn't know it. How did you make that key float? A key, a key. Sonic key, Sonic key. Uh, Sonic key, it's, it's, see how it floats. A magic and mystery, what? Oh yes, um, a ma I, I am a paragon of magic and mystery. You will never believe what I can do with this key. You don't look like a professor of anything. Uh, excuse me, sir, sorry for interrupting you just now, but I am the professor and I have something to show you. Please don't interrupt me, I'm very busy. Oh, oh, excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Now, Sim, if my switcheroo worked, time will very shortly correct itself, and time will flow normally. Hand me the box. I don't understand. You have never, since the day I met you, ever made sense. Watch. You see? The bomb he built no longer exists. Time will flow normally. How? He made that bomb and put it in the box. Yes, but it no longer exists. The one he has is the one that we swapped. But... Sim, I exist outside of time. And so do you because of the TARDIS. So in an hour or so, he's going to try and blow that bomb up, which no longer exists, and it will go very differently to what he expects. to do it. This is for my forefathers, whose graves were desecrated in the name of capitalism. Don't move! Keep away from those! Lollies? Sim, all's well that ends well. Mm-hmm. You know what, Sim? Sometimes I think I'm just what's required for any given situation. Professor, remember when I made the other to use? Uh, the other two? Uh, ah, the business with the golden slippers. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, well, I thought they were the egomaniacs. I was wrong. What are you saying? Are you saying that I'm the egomaniac? Yes. Moi? Yes. Me? Yes. Mr. Handsome? Yes, I mean you! You, know, you might have a point, I guess. Professor, usually you are such a sweetie, but today you were kind of a jerk. Well, kind of a jerk? Is this because you didn't get to go shopping? Is that what this is about? Bingo! Oh, Sim, 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 you'll get to go shopping. We've got to go get shopping. We've got to get a present. A present? Yeah, a present for your sister. My sister. For her wedding? Hold on, Professor. My sister is getting married? Yes, you see. We got the invitation months ago. I didn't tell you about it, did I? Uh, I'm piloting the TARDIS right now. You're not allowed to hit me while I'm piloting the TARDIS. 